hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in this video um, i'm going to show you how um, you know you can be able to create two different um, user menus okay so it could be more than two it could be three it could be four depending on the user roles that you choose for okay so that when somebody logged into your website the person will see you will see different menus over here and when the person logged out we also see what different menus over here and that is exactly what we're going to show so um if you are interested in how i created this amazing um you know um, electronic store over here uh, there is a link in the description over there i'll leave it over there so that you can be able to what, um, watch and learn how i created this amazing um you know um website over here okay now let's jump into the video so what it this video is all about is um if i log in over here let's say i want to log in you see i see different menus over there okay and if i log out i also see different menus over here okay and that is exactly what i'm going to show you in this video so if you want to learn this trick or learn how to create this um, user changing user menus stay and like the video let's jump into the video Okay, guys, so to be able to create this amazing website, um, user menu, okay, so to be able to create the user menu, two different user menus, that is one for um, the logged in user and then the other one for the logged out user, um, we need to install a plugin, okay, so we're going to install a new plugin. Now, guys, if you want to, um, you know, um, design this um, dashboard, customized dashboard over here, as you can see over here, um, I have a um, you know I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for you to be able to watch this video whereby i um, i created this um, custom dashboard over here so you can watch it and you also create your own custom dashboard for your client or for yourself okay so but um let's go ahead to create the user menus that we want okay so to do that we need to go to plugins hover on plugins over here and then um click on add new plugin Now what we're going to search for is um, something called user menus. Okay, so search for user menus. Okay, so um, this is the user menus that we are. That is nav menu visibility. Okay, so logged in user and logged out user or specific user rules. Okay, so that is what we are going to use. So I have already installed it. Now, if you haven't installed it, you you see this one which says what install now. Now click on it, okay, to install now. Now after you click on it to install, you see this one which says activate. So click on it to uh, to activate it. Okay, so when you activate it, you see this um, you know notice over here, okay. So you can decide to click on allow and continue, or you can click on what skip. So I'm going to click on skip okay now that we have our user menus in installed okay what we're going to do is we're going to what create uh, menus for it okay so we want um, two different things to show over here so that when we logged in um, it will be a different menu over here and then when we logged out it will be a different menu over here so that is what we are going to do so um what we are going to do is we're going to go to what um appearance over here okay and then go to menus now we have one menu already done over here okay of course we have um, two different menus or three different menus over here but what i'm going to do is i'm going to create um, two different menus okay so i'm going to click over here which says cre create a new menu so i'm going to click on create new menu now i'm going to call this menu logged in okay I'm going to call this one logged in so just like this one okay i'm going to call it logged in okay and then 
I will just, you know, um, put in some things over here. I just want to show you, okay? So I'll just put in some things over here, okay? So what I'm going to go is, um, I'm going to go for home. I'm going to go for um, blog post. And then I'm going to go for the cart. I'm going to go for contact us. I'm going to go for shop, okay? And then I'll come here, um, WooCommerce endpoint. I'm going for orders, downloads, um, and then what? Logout, okay? These ones are all for what? The logged in user. So some all the people who are already what? logged in. Okay, so this one didn't come. So let me go over here and then click on this one. Okay, so I'm going to, and then also account. Okay, so my account over here. Okay, very good. So um, I'm going to arrange it so that it will be perfectly done. So this one is the shop, the cart. Okay, and this one will be what? The contact us. Okay, so I want this one to be what? For the logged in user. Okay, so when the person logged in, I want um, all these ones to show okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um give it and uh, show it on the what on the main menu on the primary uh, menu or i'm just i'm just going to what, just leave it like that or perfectly done i'm just going to what, show it on the what on the um, primary you know menu okay so i'm just going to show it on the what on the primary menu okay so just like that so that is for the what for the logged in um for the logged in user okay so all of this one will show in for the logged in user okay now what i want to do is i just want to create one menu like this okay and then i'll select some for logged in user i'll select some for logged out user user okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename this one as what um primary menu okay i just want to name this one primary menu okay very good so I just I won't name it logged in. I'm just going to name it primary menu, and then um, I'll come over here and select some for what logged in user and select some for what logged out user. Okay, so that's um, exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this one over here so that the logout will be what will be at the last one. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. Okay, so we have the account user. This is what login register. Okay. And then I'll put it over here. Okay, so login and then register. The logout will come over here. Okay, so um, basically this is what I want. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'll come over here, click over here. You see this arrow over here? I'll just click over here. Now, who can see this link? Okay, so who do you want to see? This one, that is the home page. So I want everybody to what? To see it. So I'm just going to rename this one as what? as home okay and i want everybody to see it now the shop page too who can see it i want everyone to see it and when you go to the blog page who can see it i want everyone also to see it then when you go to the cart page okay who can see it i just want the what the logged in user to what to see it okay and um which of the logged in user almost everyone okay who is logged in i want them to see it and then the my account Okay, within my account also, who can see it? I want what um, the logged in user to also what to also see it. All the logged in users, I want them to see it. And then the orders, okay. So the orders also should be what logged in user, okay. And then we go to downloads. Downloads should also be what logged in user, okay. And then um, let's go to contact. Who can see it? I want everyone to see it. And then the logged in who can see it okay so um, who can see the logged in user now this one is only seen by what all logged out what users so that is why you cannot see it over there and then also the register is also the same thing all logged out what users okay so as you can see when you look at the logged in user now where should users be um, taken afterwards okay so when they log in where do you want them to take in? you can use a custom link or home link or the current page okay so i just leave it as for well, the current page okay very good 
so now that we have all these things set okay so this one who can see it now this one it, it it will be let me let me remove this this one okay and then bring in this one and bring in this one rather okay very good so as you can see this one can only be seen by what the logged in user okay so that is it so now that we have all this one set now what i need to do is what i need to what, click on save okay very good so now that i've saved it that is our primary what our primary menu now let's go over here and then this is this was our previous what menu that we have but let's refresh it and see what happens now as you can see we have the home page we have the shop we have the blog the cut my account others downloads contact and then what log out okay now if we log out right now you will see a different menu altogether so as you can see we have what we have the home shop blog contact us login and register okay and that is exactly how you can be able to what, change um you know user logged in um, menus anytime a user logged in the user will see what a different menu and then anytime um, a user logged out the user will also see what a different what menu okay now you can change it between the user roles also okay so that is exactly how you can be able to what, um, change user menus for your what for your website thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it so that anytime um, I I drop a video you get a notification for it okay so see you in the next video thank you bye bye